Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Juan of Segura Gear Company. I want to do a quick video going over our new Battle Wagon Bell. It's uh, the byproduct of about a year and a half of testing, um, from competition shooters to road cops, active duty guys, and civilians who just love to train and shoot. We started by tackling the first issue, which was guys' belts were sagging with a normal loadout. Nothing crazy, just, you know, what a cop would wear every day. We found that this was a byproduct of companies using parachute webbing. Um, it's just what was available, what one guy started using early on, and everyone went from there. No one really questioned it. Um, it's got a really, really good breaking strength, but the structure itself of the webbing is it's flimsy. It, it will sag. Um, it's just not meant for what people were using it for in a load-bearing belt. So we tracked down one of the last remaining textile mills here in the U.S. And we worked closely with them, and we told them what we needed, and they gave us a solution. Uh, we realized that the resin on a lot of the webbings that were available out there just wasn't enough for what we wanted it to do. So we came up with something consistent that they could do, and now it allows guys to put the kitchen sink on a belt and it won't tag. So the next thing we needed to do was to do away with the outdated PALS and micro PALS method of attaching pouches. Um, a lot of you are familiar with these, no matter how you orient them, it either sticks you in the ribs or it sticks you in the thigh. Um, it ends up not being super tight even with some of the micro piles belts that are out there now. So we did away with that and we just used Velcro one wrap. There's a specific way to attach it to the battle wagon. So that way you get all the hook Velcro on the interior of the belt, super clean. You don't have any tabs sticking out the bottom of the pouch itself. So it's pretty straightforward. All you're gonna need is uh, one piece of one wrap per molly row. So for example, this is a single pistol mag uh, kiwi pouch, one row molly. So we just need one piece of one wrap. So first things first, we're going to grab our needle nose pliers. We're gonna run them through the top two segments of the one wrap. So this is the bottom of the pouch, this is the top. We're gonna run it through. We're gonna pull the one wrap with the soft side down. So this fuzzy part that goes down. Pull it through. We're gonna grab our battle wagon. And we're going to pull the one wrap through the slot. So, pull this through. Leave about an inch. We're gonna pull the pouch tight, remove any slack that's there. Leave about an inch of one wrap. And then we're going to tuck the one wrap in on itself into the pouch. So right in there. This part's usually easier if you use pliers, but for the sake of the video. So push it into itself and then hold it down and pull tight. That way we remove any slack that's on the bottom of the pouch. So once we have that done, press it down onto itself. We're going to get our pliers and we're gonna run them through the bottom side of the pouch again. We're then gonna pull the one wrap with the pliers straight through. It'll look like this. So it'll be wrapped on itself twice, once inside the pouch and then again through the belt. So that way this hook Velcro is clear. It can hold onto your inner belt. And then as for this, just take some shears, leave about half an inch, tuck that into itself again, and you're all set. That's attached. The next piece we wanted to make sure we got right was the inner belt. The Battle Wagon is a two-piece belt system. A lot of guys were complaining beforehand that most other companies, they just ship you a simple overlap belt. So it's like a piece of Velcro, it just overlaps on the front. It's not very consistent. Um, it's not something that if you have to use it every day, it's comfortable putting on. It's hard to adjust if after you have a meal, you feel a little bloated or whatever. So we just made our emissary belt with Velcro and a lighter version of it. So this is just one piece of webbing with Velcro sewn around it. It pairs perfectly in a duty capacity or in an all day use situation with the battle wagon. Since the battle wagon is so rigid, all this is doing is making sure your battle wagon doesn't shift around. We're making that in black and in coyote. 
let's say you're someone who's working undercover or you're a civilian who is everyday carrying and you like our emissary belt, we make the emissary belt with just Velcro all the way around. This one is two ply, so it's a bit more rigid. Uh, it's good for carrying appendix outside the waistband or whatever, and you're able to just throw on a battle wagon over when you, whenever you need it. If you are a new shooter and uh, you're falling on a budget, we are making an overlap belt. It's uh, one ply webbing. Um, it's gonna be a lot cheaper than the others. And you know, if you had to dish out a few hundred bucks on pouches, belt, rifle, laser, mags, everything, you know, this is something that if you're just getting your toes in the water, this is something you might want to consider. It'll save you a few bucks. Maybe later on down the line, you can upgrade to one of the emissaries, but this will do perfectly fine. All right, let's talk size. If you own a belt from us already, order the same size. You have a medium emissary, you have a medium in the battle wagon. We try to make sure that everything is the same all the way across our product line. If you don't have a belt from us, uh, get a belt that fits you already. Say this is a normal leather belt, right? You're gonna throw it on, you're gonna take a note of what hole you're on, then you're gonna take it off, and you're gonna measure from the tip of the buckle to the hole that fits you best. Then you're gonna reference our size chart. All right guys, so that's the battle wagon. Uh, when this video goes live, the belt will be up for sale. Um, if you can add it to your cart, it's in stock and we'll ship out in one to two business days. If it sells out, don't worry, we'll make them here in house and we'll have them back up in a few days. Just sign up for the restock notification. We'll also be making videos in the near future with a few different guys showing how they set theirs up in different capacities from soft guys, SWAT guys, road cops, civilians, competition shooters, you name it, we'll be making a video on it just to give you guys an idea of you know how different people set up their belts. That's it. Take care. Have a good one.